All right, good morning, guys. YouTube people, world, welcome back to this place. Um, yeah, I got back from the swab meet. I didn't really have anything, I guess. Um, I bought a couple sockets, a couple more eight millimeter sockets. Weird little wrench, so you could put uh, bits on it. Mm, let me find a bit. Let me find a bit. <clears throat> so I guess it's for tight areas. You take this, you stick it in there. I think something like that. Oh. Then you can. Reversible. So I paid a dollar for it. I paid a dollar for it and some sockets. Uh, but yeah, mainly went there to try to find a 13 millimeter socket. And uh, ended up the only one I can find. 13 millimeter and a half inch drive. The only one I could find was a deep. So, because I have, I think I have all the other ones. Uh, I probably should have bought a 10, but whatever. So, anyway, just add that to my little collection. It's quarter inch drive on one side, or quarter inch, and then uh, 5 sixteenths. 5 sixteenths one side, quarter inch the other side. So it says 5 16 bit quarter driver. I don't know what that means. Anyway, so, and then I went by the good old AutoZone. Picked up a uh, seal kit for this, for the back of the Ram. For the back of the truck or the motor. So, comes with a seal and uh gaskets two gaskets I guess depending on which uh, which one of these you have so it looks like it looks like I'll be using the the blue one maybe yeah the blue one because this orange one there's no holes the holes don't line up so <clears throat> As you can see, they don't line up. So the orange one, not using. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw this on. I'm gonna put the seal in here. Uh, that's my plan for today. And then uh, I went there to look for an air filter and uh, air filter and a cabin filter for that. And I couldn't find anything. They didn't have anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, take these brackets off, um, because I'm going to paint these black. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is end up painting it today, probably, maybe. So I'll have to tape it all off. I just want to get, oh man, I want to get this rear, rear sealed up and, uh, go from there. So <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, before this video, so let me get you guys set up and uh, take that seal out, drive the new seal in, and uh, go from there. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna try pressing that out. Um, also, the kit that I ordered, <clears throat> it came with it came with this gasket. See, uh. Anyway, it's a better gasket. It's a Molly gasket. Came with the whole Molly kit. So I'm gonna see if I can't get this out somehow. Let's see what I can use. you to drill <clears throat> holes 
in this and pull it, but I don't have anything to pull it with. Man, it's not budging. Let me, uh, <coughs> let me use some persuasion on this. A little hammer, just obviously don't want to scar up the aluminum. So and I'm just gonna clean it all up. Spray it with some brake clean, and then uh, yeah, let me uh, let me get it all ready to uh, let me get it all cleaned and get the new gasket all prepped. All right, I got it all cleaned up. So I just took a razor blade, so there's some material in there, if you can see that. So there's a, the rubber that's left over from these seals, <clears throat> just scrape it off like that. Clean it up, clean the bottom surface, clean the back surface really good, because that's where that gasket's going to go. And, uh, anyway, so here we go. Here we go with the seal. So these go in dry. These are a dry fit, dry seal. So keep the ring in there. Here's your little driver tool that it comes with. So obviously, you want to put it in the right way. So... The seal is going to go down. I don't know why it looks like all that. But anyway, this is a uh, triple seal. It's got like a triple lip on this seal, which is why I went with this seal. <clears throat> anyway, you just want to make sure it's dry. I'll show you. I'll show you the lips. Let's stick this back in there. Anyway, so you got this outer lip here. You guys can see that. And then you have a pretty hard lip in here. So this is better than the factory OEM seal. <clears throat> mainly because, uh, because the other one wears a groove into the crank. Or can wear a groove into the crank, I guess you could say. Um, but anyway, let me fight this, put this all back on here without cutting it. Obviously, you don't want to cut any of the seals. So, anyway, just go back in. Something like that. <clears throat> And then this tool is the, to the proper depth. I've done these before on a couple videos. You want to try to go straight down as you can, as flush as you can. So let me take a little mallet. Fingers. So, to get it going, should go all the way in. Just gotta move it a little bit over here. It's gone, little by little, and then it'll probably fall right into place. <clears throat> so, starting to go in. 
you just want to make sure you put it in dry. I put a couple in wet. And when I put them in wet, all they would do is twist out. So just keep going around, beating it in. And I said once, once it goes in, it pretty much just falls in. And you just want to make sure that your depth is good. Sorry for all the noise. So, pretty much just like that. So you just want the, the depth to be good of this and you can turn this around and check it to make sure that it's level but you got the same gap all the way around I don't know if that makes sense or not but anyway it's installed it's in so now I'm just gonna <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is what I like to do is take this off and I want to put some grease of some sort some oil or something on it just in case for the break-in process and I'm just gonna add some of this this blue lube to it This way when it's when it starts up and does whatever it does, you got a fresh it doesn't tear, it won't stick to the crank. So just going along the whole edge. It's like excess gasket. Or seal. I keep calling it a gasket. Technically it is a gasket. And I just put this back in. I did this one time like this. Okay. <clears throat> that should be good there. And then uh, let me uh, put some silicone on this. Silicone on the bottom. Actually, I'm not going to silicone the bottom yet because I uh, still want to take the oil pan off. So let me get you guys set up over there. We'll put it all on. Alright, so here we go. I got it all cleaned up. I got glue on it. So what I'm using is a Honda Gray Honda Bond. That's what I've been using on all the stuff that needs to be sealed. So, oh man, I gotta get in here, it's tight. So you got these little extra tangs right here for the gasket. So I had to drop the oil pan. I'm gonna drop the oil pan a little bit. Um, this way I can get in here. Just get rid of some of these bolts. And then once you put it on, you obviously you'll have to cut it. And uh, yeah, that's. Take these bolts out. And uh, yeah, and then kind of a process. in backwards so just make sure you put it in right because you could see, I don't know if you can see but it's tapered on this side so that'll have to go to the outside 
Around the outside, around the outside. Anyway, let's see if I can do this without bringing it over to the bench. Okay. So, got it all on. Get in here. Just want this plastic to go around the crank portion. So this way when you slide the seal on, it won't tear the seal, the seal thingy major. Okay, so like that. Okay, we're all on all the way around. This plastic things like that and now you just push that on like that then you take this off and then oh my gosh my back is tight in here I'll be right back right back right back So you have this press tool here. You can use that as a lining tool. So you can put it in here and it basically squares this whole squares the whole steel up. So cuz this this here can be off that way, up down. So when you put this on Checking to make sure it's sitting flat. Then you can run all your bolts. Um, once you get it straight, and they are all these little eight millimeter bolts. It's the only set of bolts that I could find that were six bolts. That were this size, this thread pitch. So then these, I think these are torqued to 12 foot pounds. And I don't think it matters which way you go. So Anyway, a torque wrench, go to 120 inch pounds, which is about right there. And we'll just start here. Here to this one. I'm just gonna go all the way around. Anyway, exciting video, huh? I feel like freaking Mr. Rogers when I'm doing assembling. I don't know why. Because he's always changing his clothes and talking about absolutely nothing. Talking about the weather, talking about his train set, talking about his tattoos. Oh wait, he don't have tattoos. So just gonna keep going around, around, around. So they all stop moving. Maybe I'll go to Let's see what 140 inch pounds does. Yeah. 
We'll do that. Feels a little better. Feels about like 10 or 12 inch pound, foot pounds. And I'm getting a good ooze out of the Honda Bond. So I know it's getting torqued evenly. these off as usual. Back your torque wrench off always. Um, anyway, and then that's the that's the rear main seal. Make sure you take this off. And you're golden. You're golden. And then you will have to do one more quick little chingus. Which is right down there. Take a nice sharp razor blade and you come in. We'll come in here and just cut it nice and square. But don't let it fall in your oil pan, obviously. Okay, through it again. I will be taking the oil pan back off because I did order a girdle. New one. Because the other one I ordered was damaged. As you guys know. So if you do this and you have your oil pan off, it's a lot easier, obviously. So, that's it. That's all you got to do for the rear main seal. And then you can see, you got good ooze out all the way around. You got a nice flush bottom down in there. And then obviously, once you put your, uh, once you put the oil pan on, you just want to do a little dab of silicone in these corners and obviously in the front too. So uh, that's pretty much it. That is it actually. So now I'm gonna tape everything off and uh, yeah, get it ready for paint. Take some parts off and uh, clean it all up real nice and good and paint it all so all right guys thanks for watching make sure you guys subscribe thanks for staying in for this long stupid video anyway i guess later